First question is from P. Erickson Live. What, why do you recommend Prime and Prime Pro as the best programs for trainers working with clients? Wow. Yeah, that's a good question. Why? So let's change the question a little bit just so people who don't have the programs or maybe not familiar with them kind of understand why a little bit. Why would you recommend correctional exercise-based programs uh, for trainers? Or why would those be the most important? Well, mainly because correctional exercise, which really refers to exercise that helps somebody move better, reduces uh, poor recruitment patterns, helps them connect better to muscles they may not be very well connected to. Um, all those things, by the way, individualized, right? So, because mm. everybody's a little different. When you do that for someone, regardless of their goal, regardless of the way they train, they're going to do better. So if they're an endurance athlete, they're going to perform better. If they're there for longevity, they're going to do better. If they're trying to build muscle or strength, they're going to do better. That's the one consistent thing that you should find in any program, regardless of the person or the goal. And of course, it needs to be individualized because what could be correctional for one person could be a waste of time for another or maybe even mm. make an issue worse for them. But that being said... Uh, you know, Prime and Prime Pro are correctional exercise-based programs. So it doesn't matter what your client's goals are or how you're training them. You want to incorporate that into the routine to maximize whatever it is they're looking yeah, for. Yeah, you got to consider the structural integrity of the entire body. Like, what are we building on top of? Uh, a lot of times, like, we as trainers, I mean, the first thing we want to find is any kind of imbalance, any kind of a glaring type of dysfunction that we can address so that way uh, – if if not immediately um, alleviate pain, at least you know prevent it from happening in the future, and, and be able to set them on the right foot going forward towards their goal. So, and you can do this a lot of times simultaneously with whatever fat loss goal, whatever you know muscle building goal they have. But I mean, really, this is the basis of our value is to be able to address these issues and these imbalances so that way um you know they can move properly and also be able to accomplish goals and keep that going and keep that longevity in their program one of the um single best or most important certifications that i ever received was the correct the corrective exercise specialist um and unfortunately for me that was one of my last ones i did i think it was like number seven or eight that i did and the all the ones that i did before that um didn't even come close to providing as much value as the corrective exercise specialist certification did for me and it was because what i realized and sal you were alluding to this is that every single one of my clients uh needs this i don't care if you're in great shape an athlete um, yeah. you, especially athletes right there's some of the most dis dysfunctional clients were actually somebody who was a athlete for many years but even more importantly uh I, at that point, I knew how to do a squat assessment because I went through NASM. So NASM taught like the fundamental, you know, squat assessment. But to be completely honest, like I wasn't great at what to go from there. So I do a squat assessment and then I'd see, oh, their arms fall forward, their knees cave in. And, you know, we had a little chart to be like, oh, this, this is wrong or this is right. wrong. But then from there, I, I wasn't really qualified to build a routine around to correct it, mm -hmm. to fix it, to help them. And yet everybody that I ever did a squat assessment had some sort of breakdown, if not a ton of breakdown, which by the way, prime is our version of the squat assessment. We actually have a squat assessment in there. We have the overhead assessment and then we have the windmill or rotational assessment in there. So it, we've bolstered what we thought was the most ideal assessment. So as a trainer here, you have, uh, which is one of the things that you will do with every single client is a assessment, mm -hmm. right? Should be every first session, should be every uh, potential client. So if you offer a free opportunity to meet you, you should be going through some sort of an assessment process, which is MAPS Prime. So, and then from there, you're going to point out to this client, regardless of their goals, build muscle, lose body fat, overall health, get rid of pain, no matter what their goal is, you're going to assess them and then point them in the right direction to correct any of these deviations that you see, which is now Prime and Prime Pro, because Prime Pro goes even deeper with every single joint. So, th and then this also made sales way easier for me. So once I once I had this this tool in my tool belt, I became a, a much better trainer at helping my clients. And then it actually became even easier to sell clients because I now had the, the, the knowledge to be able to break somebody down just by seeing them squat or do an overhead press and, and then be able to tell them, oh my God, this is what's going on with you. And, and you've said this before, I think Sal on the show, like 
a client like thinks you're a magician when mm. you can have them just do a body weight squat and then go, oh, did you have an injury to your left knee? And they go, oh my God, I had surgery yeah. on that like 20 yeah. years ago. How did you know that? Yeah. Well, what I know is that- you ever that, have neck pain? Like, how yeah. can you tell? Well, how I know is that your body has been uh, overcompensating on the opposite side because it moved away from the pain for so many years, which has caused this imbalance in your body. And I'm sure you have low chronic pain here and here, and you can start pointing all this stuff out and you look like a genius. And not only that, but then I could go take them on the floor, and which by the way is in Prime and Prime Pro, the movements to address these issues and show them like relief instantly. Immediately. Yeah, yeah immediately they, you can get them to move better by it's showing- It's life-changing for some people. Yeah, and so, and, I, and I'm sure this question's mostly directed at me because I know I passionately say, you are stupid if you are a trainer and you don't own these two programs. It is, the, it is literally all of our certifications that we've accumulated over all of our years, plus our experience wrapped into- how would I assess a client on day one? What tools would I need yeah. to set a program up to address any and everybody that will come my way? Yep. Those are those two yeah. programs. There's, there's two, and there's two main ways that you like you could pick an exercise for your body, right? One way is the easy. I don't want to say easy, but the more common way, which is what part of my body do I want to yeah, develop? What am I working on? Today? Yeah. What do I want to? How do I want to look? Right. The other way is what's the best exercise that's going to help me move better. Okay. And they're both they're both valuable, but the move better I'll argue is even more valuable because without moving better over time, you start to lose the aesthetics um, as well. You start to look worse because you're not moving well because you can't activate muscles better. So I'll give you a silly example. If someone has really bad forward shoulder, like really bad forward shoulder, and it's time to do a back exercise, I can choose a pull down or I can choose a cable row, right? The cable row is gonna be far more appropriate for a person with really bad forward shoulder than a pull down because a pull down might actually make the forward shoulder worse, which then can cause shoulder pain, neck pain, and lots of other issues. By the way, you can go, we, we, we went through some of the most important parts of these programs and teach you and walk you through, and you can follow along and do them yourself so you can experience for yourself yeah. um, for free. So you can go to mapsprimewebinar.com and you can go to primeprowebinar.com. They're totally free. Justin is in one teaching you how to do the assessment and the movements associated with each assessment. And Adam is in the other one yeah. showing you some of his favorite correctional exercise movements and you follow along, do them and they're free and they're extremely valuable. So I recommend everybody go check those out. Yeah. And one more point just for the personal trainer and the add value is a lot of times like we don't have control of what a lot of our clients do outside of the gym. And I think that this addresses a lot of things that they can work on, you know, uh, besides what you're working on in terms of like muscular development and all these other like specific goals they have with that time frame that they have with you in the gym. So now we can build and establish rituals that will alleviate pain, will will present them in better posture and will get them um, you know, to, to move better and everything else while they come back and visit you. Uh, so that way, you know, they can really have a, an effective uh, use of time. This, this is literally for everybody. And there's this uh, misunderstanding that the correctional work or correctional exercises for old people or injuries or only people that have problems, but a good trainer will be able to, so the most common two primary goals, build muscle or burn body fat. You do that, you do those better with, if you have better. That's right. And you, and, and you can, you can program both. You can build a routine that is going to build muscle and, or yeah. help you and lose I'll body argue fat. If you don't include the individualized correctional stuff, you'll build less muscle. That's right. You won't do it as fast. That's why, that's why this, the learning this was so pivotal, I think for my career as a trainer, both like helping my clients and then also being able to sell and be able to get more clients, like which is obviously important for trainers. Yeah, it's a major you, selling point. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you still don't have this and you're a trainer, like you, th th it'll be one of the single most important investments that you'll ever make as far as helping you with your your training. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here, and be sure to subscribe.